Okay, I'm starting. Oop, I got toilet paper. All righty, everybody. So welcome. I'm a little out of sorts. I don't like my angle. But I changed the perspective of my kitchen today. Hopefully you enjoy that. I know I got a lot of this top stuff. That's all right. That's all right. We're learning, trying different things. So welcome, welcome to cooking. 1030. I've got a glare too. Mmm. My first cup of coffee. Hey, Doug! So happy that you're here. Thank you so much. I see that there's a couple of people, whether they're scrolling down or... So chime in. Chime in. Let me know you're here. Make a comment. So happy that you're here with us. Um, uh, joining me today, I've got a little special treat. I'm going to try it. I have not tried these particular recipes. I've tried one of these things. So um, this is a holiday time. It may not seem that it's a holiday time, but it is. Hey, Stephanie, what's up? I missed you the other day. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Morris members joining in, thank you, thank you. I know you have many choices for your Facebook viewing classes. I see David J is on. Welcome, welcome, David. How are you? How's Charlie? Um, I hope you're using this weather to get in some walks. Um, and I see Sue is on, so welcome. Ah, yes, yes. Who else? Well, we got somebody from California. What? Uh, that's amazing. Uh, Caitlin's joining in. You made sugar dough for Easter cookies. Nice. We are now... Are, are, I'm not doing that today. I'm not doing that today. Kara, good morning. Good morning. So, so far it looks like I got Doug. I got Stephanie. I got David J. Uh, I got Kara. I got Caitlin. Did I get everybody? Did I get everybody? I want to give some special thanks, shout outs to people that have been sending me their, um, their work. Like I know Katie and Donna sent some haikus or some poetry. Today for Lunch Bunch at 1230, it's going to be a combined, I have a, sp and Terrence is on, welcome Terrence, I have a special guest, uh, Bergen members will know this person, um, we're going to be re reviewing some uh, writing projects that have been going on in our Google Classroom, and anybody who wants to join in for poetry as well, so we're doing it through Zoom, if you did not get a Zoom, because I know my email blast is a little wacky sometimes because it's mainly for Bergen people, but I don't know if I added in other people. So if you didn't get a Zoom and you want to join us on Zoom, uh, invite, uh, let me know. Send me an email to CEA uh, to Bergen at Gmail. I got somebody with a sourpuss. What's up? Hi. I can't see you. It's a it's a narrow thing. Well, it's up to you. You don't have to join us today, but at least maybe stop by from here and there. Okay. So, um, but we'll also be doing it Facebook Live as well. So we'll be doing uh, a couple of things. So that was your hint for twelve thirty lunch brunch. Um, hello, Alona. I think Alona is on. Um, you can't eat the cookies. Well, that's just torture, Caitlin. If you can't eat the cookies, um, but. So Lunch Bunch will also be, so we'll be talking a little bit about poetry and writing, but it will also be about how to use Google Classroom and answer questions like that, okay? So that is your 1230. So welcome everybody. I am Deborah from the Center for Enhancing Abilities. I am from the Bergen location, but we welcome members from all locations and people from all over the world. Apparently we had somebody from Italy the other day and we have somebody from California. So welcome, and I love it. I love, love, love it that we have, what? No, there's no cats in the kitchen. Get them out, get them out. We, they don't need to see our dirty business. Um, so I love it that we have members from both centers as well. So what is today's um, recipes for cooking today? We've got two holidays coming up. Uh, one starts tonight and one is on Sunday. Those are your hints. Chime in, let me know. What the two holidays? 
Should yes. Should we tell them about the mouse? The mouse? No, they don't want to hear. Come in, come in. We're just waiting for a few people. So we we had we had a mouse in our house last night. Oh, we night. were watching the Superman. Movie. Yes, we're we're going through Superman movies. It's okay. The house the, the mouse is fine and he's been relieved, but I don't want people to think that my cooking is mouse infested. I live near some woods, so that's why they come in. All right? He was very he cute. was introduced to the outdoors. He was um, very teeny tiny. He probably found a way back. Uh, he probably <laughs> did. I have lots of holes wherever. So we have two holidays. Chime in if you know the two holidays, and we are going to be working on desserts or some type of dessert, some kind of uh, some kind of treat uh, that we're doing. You can't see my apron today. Um, so nobody nobody and I, sometimes i miss your comments so if you notice that you've been sending me a comment and i didn't give you a shout out try it again sometimes they don't come up yes stephanie yes easter and passover passover starts tonight um people who are jewish and some some people who are not do celebrate passover yes terence passover and easter um passover is a cool holiday uh, for all of us to talk about if you are Jewish or Christian, because they are, they are related. And then, um, uh, and then there's Easter, Easter Sunday. So we've got two different recipes. First of all, my kitchen is not kosher for Passover. So if anybody's saying, Deborah, you shouldn't be doing that, you're probably right. Um, you're probably right. But, oh well, we're going to give it a shot, and we will post our recipes on our um, site, uh, so you to follow. So today, we're going to be doing barks, barks, uh, not dog barks. We're going to be doing some kind of dessert barks. Now, uh, hold on. So, uh, my husband always gets very angry. Hey, Jamie, welcome, welcome. You know, he gets these delicious, uh, they're pretty good, they're pretty good, Passover chocolate-covered matzah, uh, but it's really expensive, and you only get like two two crackers or whatever you want to call it. So we, and he gets very angry, he's like, that's, that's a rip. So what we're going to do is we are going to make our own kind of chocolate-covered um, matzah, all right? So we're going to show you how to make matzah bark if you're into matzah. And if you're not, or if you've never tried matzah, and you feel daring enough to go to the store, go buy some. It's not bad. It's not bad. I did not grow up um, celebrating Passover. Um, I grew up celebrating Easter. My husband grew up celebrating Passover and not Easter. And now we get to celebrate both. Lucky us. So chime in. Let me know what holiday you celebrate. Maybe you don't celebrate either. Maybe you celebrate the vernal equinox, which I think just passed. So let me know. Let me know. I'd love to know what you're going to do. So we're going to do a Passover bark or a matzah bark. And then we're going to attempt an Easter bark. Uh, matzah. It's, it's, so the, the thing about Passover, and please, I'm not a, um, a religious school instructor. I didn't even finish catechism, okay? So I, I'm not the best person to go to. Um, but it is, an, it is modeled after, it's an unleavened bread. So one of the things we've been talking about here with our baking recipes, we've been using recipes without yeast. Um, and not because of Passover, it's just because, well, I didn't get to go to the store and get some yeast and I don't work well with yeast. But in the Passover story, the idea was, or the story, how it goes, is, um, this is, this is like condensed. Um, when, when the Jews of Israel who were slaves, um, in Egypt were told, Hey, we're going to let you out. Okay. These plagues are causing us too much trouble. You got to get out, but you got to get out now. Well, it takes time for bread to rise with yeast. It didn't have enough time, right? Here, come on in. Let me know. You're the one that knows more about these things. So they had to get the heck out of Dodge or Egypt, and their bread couldn't rise. So to Can mark this one? special occasion, no, you cannot. These were very difficult to get. Your father had to beat up about 12 people to get these matzahs. 
So, and he was a little mad at me. So, good morning, Easter for the Swansons. Excellent, excellent. Like I said, we do both. So we're gonna use a matzah bread. Now you can use anything really. Um, if you wanna use some crackers in your house to make like a cracker uh, bark with this recipe, you totally can. The other one we're gonna do is for Easter and it doesn't involve any cracker or bread or anything like that. And I don't know if that's gonna go so well. So, we got enough peeps. Get it? Get it? Yeah, yeah. I didn't buy peeps this year, so I don't like peeps. So chime in if you like peeps. But to my peeps, we've got enough. Let us begin. Simon will hopefully come in. I washed my hands uh, before um, this started. Okay, so make sure you wash your hands. And our first recipe is, um, is going to be a uh, matzah bark okay so your ingredients that you're going to use is going to be on this recipe it's going to ask for three pieces of matzah um since we are on uh quarantine and we don't want to battle out oh stephanie extra points simon can you go down into the creepy basement uh to the uh and get oreo oreo needs to be here thank you thank you thank you I think I see Jeter coming on, so welcome, welcome. So we're only gonna use two matzo crackers. Um, you know, I have my favorites. This is not my favorite. So you're gonna need two matzo crackers. We're well, gonna need three for the recipe. Hey, my talking board, yeah, good eye. This is my Ouija board uh, mug. That's kind of how I feel after, what is this, like four weeks? It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So, so you're gonna need three uh, pieces of matzah, or if you want to use like pretzels uh, or some kind of cracker or a flatbread, like a sweet. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, do it, do it. You can adapt it. It's okay. It's all right. I think our peeps would understand you. Oreo says hi. Put Oreo here to protect. Oreo seems a little damp. What's going on over there? So thank you for letting me know though. So, um, but don't worry if you don't get these ingredients down, I will post these. So we're gonna use some matzo pieces. Our recipe says three, we're gonna use two. You are gonna use one and a half cups of dark chocolate chips. Now, there's different rules um, for, pass for, for eating kosher. Um, just because something is kosher doesn't mean it's kosher for Passover. I am just going to admit right now, none of this is kosher, okay? I mean, it's all okay, like it's kosher slang, but it's not kosher for Passover. So if that's important to you, just make sure you get those ingredients. I know they usually have them. They're probably about four times the cost, but we're just going to use regular chocolate chips and, you know, pray that it'll be okay. And I apologize. It's, it's a reflex. So we're going to use, uh, one and a half cups of chocolate chips. Um, we're going to use minis cause we're going to melt this. All this today is about melting and I'm going to attempt to use the microwave for this. Then your toppings. Hey, it's a free for all. All right. You know, we live in a free country. Um, we don't need to run, uh, from whatever. Don't ask. So you can use whatever types of toppings. The suggested toppings um, were coconut. Um, you can use like the, the processed stuff. That tastes better than this stuff. Uh, this is all I have. We're gonna use that for the next one. You can use almonds or nuts. Since my husband loves peanuts, he's nuts for peanuts. We're gonna use peanuts. And um, it says glitter. You know how I feel about glitter. Um, you can, I, I don't, it says glitter. Um, I think they mean sprinkles, sprinkles. Uh, I have these really nice sugar sprinkles that we're going to use, but you can use any kind of sprinkles. Okay. Whatever you like. This is not a healthy treat. Passover really isn't very healthy. It's not low cal. It's a lot of, a lot of carbs. So let us begin. So the first thing we are going to do is move our recipes somewhere where we can see them. And we are going, I lost my assistant. Uh, so we've got to um, low, we've got to um, get
get our oven for 350 degrees. I didn't plan for that. So I'm gonna not use my other oven. I'm gonna use my little oven over here. All righty. Oh, there we go. I got my little oven and I'm gonna get my cookie sheet. If I can find what I did with my cookie sheet. There we go, good. All righty, so I got my cookie sheet and I got my oven over here. All righty. So they probably mean edible glitter. I mean, really? Edible glitter? Um, everybody who knows me um, knows I don't like glitter for crafting. I do use it, but, you know, it gets everywhere. So, but I agree with you, Caitlin. I think they mean edible glitter. So, or we're going to use sprinkles. That's just how I'm going to do it. So, we... So we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I have one of these little mega fast ovens, so I don't need to worry about that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to place our matzah, it says on a foil lined cookie sheet, and sprinkle chocolate, this is easier than I thought. I should have read the recipe before I came on, but why do that? Why be prepared? So here is my cookie sheet. Um, I don't have foil because I ran out. Uh, edible gold. Yes, Caitlin, there is like edible gold. And there's some very expensive gold desserts, gold too. Like, there was this really Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Restaurant. Expensive food at a restaurant. Only one person bought, and then another YouTuber bought it, obviously. Those YouTubers. So we're going to take... You Our, I, it, which I, I already really broke the matzah. Uh, the Does anybody know, has anybody here ever done a Seder? Has anybody done a Seder? Uh, they're a lot of fun, I think. We enjoy these get-togethers. I like seeing you. Well, I like seeing you too. Um, so I'm trying to get matzah that's not broke. Oh. Like I said, this wasn't my favorite brand. I'm, I, don't, I don't think I've ever, oh no, I have heard of Stripes. Okay. So I don't know what this is. Lightly salted. Mm, I like that. So I don't have any foil, but this is a non-stick. <laughs> um, so everything is flipped. Yes, everything's flipped and I don't have that technology, that technical knowledge to unflip. Um, so I'm going to use a non-stick. My aluminum foil is on its way from Amazon. Yeah. Because I got to get ready for Easter. I got to cook and all this stuff. So we've got our three pieces of matzah. I'm going to use two. For our uh, purposes, I re-rinsed my hands. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our chocolate chips. So if you're a good person, well, you know, it doesn't matter what kind of person you are. I think any kind of person. Hey, Simon, can you do me a favor? I wonder if I get, can you get me one of those big um, containers? Yeah, it, you're giving him a mustache, Oreo mustache. Can you give me one of those protein containers? protein containers on the dining room table so I can lift this up so you can see it. Um, yeah, we had stuff going on. We didn't rehearse. We never rehearse. No, the, the big one, the big one. I need it tall. I need it tall so you can see. So you're going to get your uh, cup and a half of chocolate chips. They said dark chocolate. I think you can use any kind of chocolate. Um, I'm going to use mini chocolate chips. That's what I want. That's what I want. Let's see if this will bring it up. Yeah, look at that. Excellent, excellent. Here we go. So you can see my matzah, okay? And we are going to sprinkle chocolate chips all over, everywhere. That's kind of why I liked um, the little minis. And that's why you want to... Um, wash your hands, which I did rinse. So you want to cover this. Um, in the past when I've made this, um, a chocolate covered matzah, you might melt um, the matzah. Um, I mean, you don't melt the matzah, you melt the chocolate in a, in a bowl. But here, it's even easier for us. Because they're assuming I am a really bad cook. So we are making sure 
um, that we have enough chocolate chips, no cats near the cooking, especially her. She did not do a good job with catching mice. They were deficient, our cats. Actually, Gertie did a pretty good job. She did an okay job, and then she got tired. Aggie didn't even bother. Aggie was like, why? Why would I bother doing what I can as a cat? So we sprinkled this all over the place, all right? Or we tried to. I tried our chocolate chips. Like I said, you can put this on anything, really. Um, but we're doing it matzo style for Passover. Then the next thing we're going to do is... Um, we are going to bake and melt the chocolate for about three to four minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay. And I said it was a 350 degree oven for about three to four minutes. All righty. Hold on. Okay. Wait, uh, wait, I don't know how to operate my thing. There we go, 300. All righty, so my oven's going, and now we're gonna get the other things ready. So I have decided, I'm gonna put some of this funky, cool, uh, white, shimmery uh, glitter. Um, um, maybe we're gonna use some pretzels. So, I mean pretzels, uh, peanuts. So I'm going to crush my peanuts if you have a, now if you're allergic to peanuts, because I know some people do, I'm using a mortar and pestle. I could put full peanuts in, but this is old school. Yes, everything is reversed. It is, but it kind of makes it fun and exciting because we're, we're living in a topsy-turvy world, Stephanie. So why not? Why not? So I'm using a mortar and pestle. Actually, this pestle is older um, than my children. I, I got this mortar and pestle, and all I do is I put in my stuff, it could be anything, herbs, nuts, and I just kind of, it's good for frustration, you could use a hand chopper, but I got this in a shop in Salem, Massachusetts, ooh, kind of far out, when my husband and I were young and carefree, young and carefree, believe it or not, we did, we were, we were at one time, I don't even know if we were married, maybe we were young and in love so I'm making some peanuts I'm crushing up my peanuts but maybe you want to use walnuts anybody have a favorite kind of nut or share with us if you uh, have a food allergy to nuts it's okay I know somebody here does and you can use other things you don't have to um, you know it was something that really didn't happen but if you are allergic to nuts make sure you tell um, your restaurant or your your host if you're coming to tell them because maybe they were cooking with something like mine That use nuts and the residue would stay. So I've got my crushed peanuts. Let's see. What else guys? What else should we use? Let me get my let me get my little bowls Okay, no, we're not putting an orange in get out of here get out of here Take your cat and get out of town so what did I say? I said I was going to put some of these things. Hey, Dave, what's up? We're making some matzo bark. There we go. We're making some Easter bark. Because, hey, we got a lot of friends, and we love all our friends and everything that we do together. I could put coconut. What do you guys think? Should I put a little coconut? I'm just going to put it on my Easter bark. I don't know. Um... I also have different types of sprinkles. And some people, these are non parels They're the little balls. Um, some people call these ginnies. I don't, I don't like that. So, um, I don't know. I think I'm going to put a little color in. I think I'm going to do um, some sprinkles. It, oh, this is a new one. Good. God knows how long I've had this. Uh, you know. Okay, so I'm going to, don't do as I say. Or don't, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Um, don't do that. You could hurt yourself. Yes. Don't we have like chocolate nuggets? Chocolate nuggets. Yes. And now you're telling everybody my dark secret. So I've been um, binging on chocolate. Yeah. 
I actually ordered chocolate candy bars um, from Staples, from Staples. So this is um, trying to melt my uh, chocolate. Or you could I just use Nutella. Alrighty. And I'm just trying to make sure you could use Nutella, but we want it to, it's going to melt and then it's going to get um, hard as well. Um, and then that's the idea. And then whatever you put in. For some reason, my chocolate chips don't seem to be um, melting very well. That's why I like to use the microwave to melt the chocolate. And we're going to do that in just a second. So, and we have peanuts. We have sparkly food glitter. We've got um, sprinkles. Let's see. You know what? What the hey? Let's throw some... Simon's working out. He's being very naughty today. I'm going to use some, some coconut because I'm cuckoo for coconut. All righty. So when this is cooking, you're going to get your toppings ready, which we're all set. We've got some coconut. We've got some glitter. We've got some sprinkles. I don't think it's working. We... <laughs> Well, we should have tried it out. And we've got some peanuts. So those are our um, toppings that we have. All right. Then we need a knife. Okay. We need a knife. And I'm going to get my special uh, don't, don't be putting germs on it. So you might want to use a spatula. I have this one. I have yes, lots of different I, kinds of yes, knives. So the idea is, I don't know what you're drinking. Orange juice. Orange Wanna juice. See? Wanna see? Oh, uh, you didn't even squeeze the orange. <laughs> just put an orange in it. So that is cooking and melting. And it what we're going to open. do is we're going to put this on because we're going to put that in. Make sure to open it. Now, some safety because I would be in big trouble. Make sure you get your gloves. My, I have different gloves. So, all righty. All right, here it is. Here it is. Now, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Put in the microwave. No, we're not going to put in the microwave. So, uh, uh, well... <laughs> All right, so maybe you should use the big chocolate chips. So we're just gonna kinda mush this around a bit. Oh, it's melting. Not Have really. some faith. Stop. It's pretty solid. No, it's not. It's what? melting. Maybe you need to melt it a little bit more. They're melting. Everybody's a critic, man. Ev yeah, everybody's a critic. So you're gonna melt. It's melting. Is that we're answer? moving it around sort of melting uh, then we're going to put our different things on top so we're going to put some uh peanuts, peanuts. can i test peanuts? How it tastes no again? you cannot so i'm Why? putting all the peanut because you'll burn yourself it's very I hot said in the end can i test how it yes tastes? we have to put this in the freezer somehow then we're going to put um some sprinkles on i don't know if i should put this back in the oven i mean it doesn't seem very melty and then, what did I say? Maybe a little bit of coconut, okay? And definitely uh, this shiny glitter stuff, yeah. All right, yeah, This, these sparkles, yeah. So now, if we got invited to a wonderful um, Seder, or we're having dinner tonight or sometime during Passover, we would have this delicious and beauteous looking um, topping. So there you go. And then you would freeze this um, or so it would cool. And then you could serve it on a plate and, and crack it and enjoy it. All right. So that is our matzah bark. Okay. All right. That looks delicious. Now. I will make sure you get the recipe uh, on Facebook. I will definitely make sure. Okay, good, my, my chicken is cooking in a crock pot for tonight. Now our next recipe is going to be um, marshmallow Easter bark. Now, um, I have to admit, I really don't like um, marshmallows, but 
That didn't stop me. I said, why not? Let's do this. Um, so, yeah. Does anybody remember when I told you Nobody, about the yes, Capri? Yes, Simon yes, yes. Box, Simon so. Freeze's Capri Suns. Get out. Yeah, my goodness. This is not science. This is cooking. All righty. Yep, Stephanie, mm -hmm. when you got to go, go. I get it. We got lots of choices that we've got. Science. Uh, just so you know, our schedules always run about the same, 10.30 for the morning class, certain days of the week. We do uh, 12.30 lunch bunch, which we'll do today, and 2.30 is usually another class as well. Three days a week is music. So let's move on to our next uh, project, our next recipe. So this is an Easter marshmallow dough, and this one you're going to use white chocolate chips okay white chocolate chips which i've heard can be a little tricking um uh i have i have no idea what's uh somebody was asking i have no idea in terms of what the other um center is doing uh in terms of whether they're doing it zoom or facebook i apologize so you guys connect um, so we're going to use, they recommend 12 ounces. I only have about 10 ounces, I mean 8 ounces. So I'm going to reduce my recipe a little bit. Um, you're going to need mini marshmallows. These have been sitting in my cabinet for a while. They seem a little smushy. So one of the reasons why I picked this is if you're making the trip out for Easter stuff, to the food store, these are things probably you would be able to find. Most people don't run out and get white chocolate chips or I, don't, I haven't heard like a big run on marshmallows. So I think you'd probably be safe and that's one of the reasons um, we'll be doing that as well. Then we're gonna use either, you can use coconut oil or a shortening. I, I'm gonna, um, you can use a margarine, I'm gonna use a little butter. I like the butter flavor. Okay, and then you're going to use sprinkles again. You're going to use some sprinkles, and you're also going um, to use, I. this is not in the recipe itself, but I recommend um, using a little coconut. So if you go to the food store and you get the um, like the sweetened coconut, that'll work well. I do not have sweetened coconut, and I'm going to show you how to make like grass coconut, okay? So hold on. You're gonna get a plastic bag for your coconut. Now, for your coconut, the reason why I'm doing this first is to make sure I have it all set when I'm ready to go. Can't find my coconut. You're gonna take your coconut, maybe, I don't know, it depends on the, how much you like coconut, probably about a cup uh, or a little bit after that. I, I'm not a huge fan of coconut, and I already made like a half a cup. So you can either do a half a cup or a full cup of coconut. Now, if you bought the sweetened coconut, it already has like a nice crunchy layer of sugar on it. I don't, um, because I'm kind of desperate. So you could take a little bit of sugar, the moisture from the coconut and the food coloring I'm gonna tell you about, um, will stick to the coconut. So I'm gonna put like a little packet of stevia, or you could put like a little half teaspoon or tablespoon of sugar. Hello. And we're just gonna shake it. They can't see you. All righty. Then you're gonna take um, some food coloring. I want it to look like grass. So um, I am going to put, I like these, these are little drops. So I'm gonna do like one, two, three, you know what, I might even put a little yellow in because this gets, this gets a little bright, oops. So I'm gonna put a little yellow because the yellow will lighten the uh, green a little bit. So let's just do a couple of drops of yellow, cool. So, thank you. I oh, haven't done, um, well. I haven't done, I used to do this for rice. I used to put essential oils, really good sensory. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna shake and that's why you put it in a bag, you can put it in a container. But we're gonna mush it around, move it around. Yeah, just get it around, spread around that um, food coloring. Food coloring is safe. If you don't wanna do food coloring, that's okay. Some people don't have diets that allow that. So there you go. See, I've got some grassy uh, coconut. I've got my coconut. 
So I'm going to put that aside for the time being. Um, as a matter of fact, you know what? I will put it in one of my bowls. Okay, I'm pouring it in. My, my coconut, okay, or cuckoo Okay, there we go. I've got this wonderful coconut. So I've got coconut, I've got sprinkles, and maybe um, I might have uh, some of more of these cool sprinkles. Actually, you know what I think I might do is I might switch. I might use these little guys. I don't know. I might use the non -parels. I might go for something a little different. Yeah, I might use a combination. I don't know. I'm feeling crazy. All right? So I've got those things. Now let's start to work on melting our chocolate. So... You can use a glass pan, which I had, okay? Once again, parchment paper. I don't have parchment paper, um, so what I'm gonna use is, um, you can, I'm gonna use a nonstick spray. You can use a, a tin foil, which is on its way from Amazon. You can use plastic wrap. You can use different things. I've done this and I think this works. I'm just gonna put a little spray, just a little spray, okay? So that it doesn't stick. Then I am going to measure out three cups, okay? What I'm gonna do is I am going to measure, okay, here's my thing. I'm gonna do about two cups, okay? I don't like marshmallows and I don't have enough uh, chocolate, white chocolate. So I'm reducing my recipe a bit, but you want to do about three cups or whatever. Depends on what your chocolate to marshmallow ratio preference might be. So we're going to put these in and just enough to cover. I might add a few more. Let me see. They're not bad. Not bad. I might add a few more. Make sure the whole pan is lined. Do, do, do. There we go. Good. All righty. So there's my marshmallows. Now I'm going to put them aside and I'm going to pour my chocolate chips. We said it was about 12 ounces. Ooh, they're white chocolate. Ooh, they're like already melted. Okay. In a ceramic bowl. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna keep a little bit of shortening with it, okay? So um, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put about um, a tablespoon. I let my shortening um, melt a little bit so it's nice and soft. And I'm gonna put that in because that'll help make it a little bit more moist. The fat will work it in. So I have this. And in my bowl, okay, now, this is a very delicate uh, thing, microwaving chocolate when you're doing stuff, when you're trying to melt chocolate. Sometimes it goes really well and sometimes it does not. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this by 30 second increments. This said, um, um, this one this recipe said, do it for a minute and 30 seconds. Well, my stuff is already a little melty. If you do it too much, too soon, and depending on your, um, your, your microwave, you could burn it, it, it gets cracked, it doesn't melt very well. So, we've got a ceramic or glass bowl we are going to work in 13, 30 second increments to melt our, um, our, our chocolate, our white chocolate, okay? To prevent some burning. I also added, okay, I'm taking a look. They're still in there, but you can start to see they're melting. That's a little bit of the butter. So I'm just gonna kind of move them around. Okay, see it's starting to go, it's starting to melt. I dropped a chip. Oh well. Okay. Can I take one marshmallow from that bag? You may take a marshmallow. You may. We're sharing marshmallows. So we have our marshmallows in here. We're slowly melting our Hi, chocolate. Okay. And then 
what we're going to do in um, the bowl is when it's all um, we're going when it's all melted, we're going to throw in these marshmallows, these groovy marshmallows, and we're going to stir them to coat it, okay? And then, oh, let's see how it's going. All right, slowly melting. Okay, let me pull out my other table. Okay, I'm slowly getting there. Look at that, right? Slowly getting there. Not quite, not quite. I'm almost there. I'm going to try to scrape my spoon. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Like I said, I was reading something about white chocolate. And sometimes it's more difficult to melt. I don't know if that's true, if that's the case. Let me know if you've experienced that. I'd be curious. Um, I usually work, uh, a lot of times I'll put in a crock pot and make like a melted chocolate, a little cream or a little bit of milk and that works nice. You can dip your strawberries in. Um, so let me know. I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, I guess why would they lie? Why would they lie to me? There's no reason. All righty. I think this is the, this is the money shot. I think this is going to do it. So our chocolate, yeah, that looks pretty good. And uh, and then once it gets too like overcooked, it starts to get a little stiff. So there's my chocolate, if you can see that, good. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour, moment of truth, I'm gonna pour my marshmallows in, should have probably picked a bigger bowl. Oops, they're flying all over the place. Okay, I'm pouring my marshmallows in. And I'm gonna slowly, uh, I'm gonna try to stir this. <laughs> all righty. Let's move it to a bigger bowl. I wanted you to see glass. So we're gonna pour you're gonna slowly mix your chocolate with your marshmallows, kind of like a, a Rice Krispie treat. Oh, all my marshmallows fell on the floor. Okay, and we're slowly combining, stirring the chocolate and the marshmallows together. Ah, yeah, now I'm getting it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so they're kind of all mixed in. I'm now going to take these chocolatey, delicious marshmallows. No, now you can't see. And I'm going to put them into my pan. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna use my fingers. Okay, there we go, good. All right. And we're gonna press down. You can use a little oil, or sometimes what I find before it cools. Is I make my hands a little wet, make my hands a little wet. Okay, and there we go, because then the chocolate won't stick to my hands as much. So I'm putting those in, kind of squishing down. You could use your spoon. What is beeping? No, it is not Dave. It is not Dave that's beeping. It's my. It was my microwave or my oven. I think my little oven. So there we go. I have that in. And then I'm going to put my little sprinkles on yeah maybe i'm gonna put some big sprinkles on because that's the kind of gal i am nuts for sprinkles and then and, and then i'm gonna put maybe some of my uh coconut grass that i made yeah there we go yeah well i just just stuck it all on one and i just gotta kind of press that in there you go, I'm just kind of pressing that in. 
There we go. Make sure that stuff gets smushed. Like I said, I, I really don't like marshmallows, so, but I figure nobody's running to the store to get marshmallows. I'm gonna wash my hands. All righty, and then we're going to put this, we're gonna put this into the freezer because we want it to um, get firm, all right? And then once, it, once you put it into the freezer for about 20 minutes, Okay, let's put that in my freezer. Uh, if I can find a spot for it. All right, okay. There we go, away from the food. Not everybody likes cats near their food. So we're gonna put that in for 20 minutes. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's put our, uh, Hold on, Simon, can you tell Alexa to put on a timer for 20 minutes? You have to go into the other room. Go into the other room, talk to her. She needs some love, Alexa. Uh, 20 minutes, and then once it's done, that way it'll harden, the chocolate will harden, and then you could take it out, and then you could let it return to room temperature. Um, so today, for our cooking, um, I don't know if we should try a taste test, me and Simon. So Simon, are you open to a taste test? I have marshmallows I'm everywhere. For a taste test. Uh, some of you are wondering, I have like a rollout table in my kitchen. So Simon and I are going to do a taste test. So hold on, hold ye horses, everyone. Let us, cause you know, what's Passover without a hedgehog plate? What? Yeah, yeah. So, my cutting board. I always have such interesting things. We're gonna take the uh, less attractive piece. Okay, so here is... Every piece is equally attractive. It is, it is, but this is a less perfect piece. It's a slightly flawed piece. So Every here piece. is our Every matzah. Is, slightly flawed. Uh, is your father downstairs? He went to get some smoothies from Bates. Oh, okay, good. All right, so he won't enjoy our deliciousness. Simon and I are going to well, take, for, uh, here, move in, us. move in, yeah, here, move in so we can That's see you, little... move in, move in, we can't see you, there That's you are, I'm giving this big piece, wait, why can't you have another, okay, you ready, <sighs> here we go, hmm, I can feel the diabetes setting in, That's not bad, me too, That's not bad, I like the peanuts with it, ooh, yeah, Oh dear. So, one of our issues was, yeah, it's okay. One of our issues was our chocolate. It's very we wanted, crumbly. We wanted to make sure our chocolate melted a little bit more. So maybe if we use different chips, that might have worked. Or if we kept it in the um, oven a little bit longer. And I think it would have been okay to actually melt the chocolate and spread it on as well. Ooh, yeah, something is like nice and salty in there. Mmm. Mmm, one more piece. Mm, it is yeah. a great equal of salt and sweet. Yeah, the sweet and the savory, or the salty and the sweet. Mmm, I recommend this. Um, very much, very much. And all the, um, the sprinkles, you just add all that sugary crunch as well. Can so, I have one? yes, you can have another one. And then, let us imagine this would be our other one. So this has got a little bit more time to freeze. So we will wait until that's frozen, um, but we won't keep you any longer because you've got lots of things on your day. But I recommend. Mm. My only problem is not with the taste, but how crumbly it is. It is crumbly because our chocolate didn't melt enough. So we do recommend that. Maybe use a more traditional oven. We use something a little different. Maybe use um, different types of chocolate chips. Or maybe melt them in the microwave and pour it on. That might be a better way. And then your, your toppings will definitely stick more to your chocolate. But overall, 
I think we did pretty good for the spring holidays making matzo bark for Passover and marshmallow. Yes, you may. So I don't need it. And marshmallow bark for Easter. We will share the recipes on our Facebook page um, along in this thread, maybe. I I'm decided. What should you come lucky on? Lucky charms. Oh, lucky charms would have been really interesting. The little marshmallows would have been a totally delicious um, for that. So we will share our recipes with you. These were easy to make. Well, we Even though they were easy, one. we have a huge mess all over the floor in our kitchen. So it's a good That's thing we have good. mice coming and going to clean up for us. Um, so. I wish everyone... And mom, you can have that other piece. Okay, thank you. I will. I wish everyone a very um, happy Passover. Enjoy this time with your family. If you're having a Seder tonight, enjoy. Um, most people are doing it uh, virtually or Zoom or whatever. So it's a little bit of a different type of Passover this year. As will Easter will be very different. So join me later for Lunch Bunch. Um, I think there might be an Easter, I think there's going to be an Easter craft on Thursday, but there might be something for a wild card as well coming up on Friday. So thank you all for joining me today for cooking, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day if I don't see you at 1230. Uh, I'll, then I guess I'll see you on Thursday. So enjoy, Mom. try one of these recipes if you do do it. Mom. Yes. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Elbow. Elbow. Yeah, yeah. We're still, we've kind of forgotten all the rules of social distancing. Um, and if you do attempt to make this with your family, please take a picture, send it to me. I would love to share it with everybody else. I'd like to see and hear your thoughts on whether or not this was good or not. So far, we are eating it. So I think it's pretty good. Alrighty, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.